my channel. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I thought I would film an after dark clean with me. Got my pajamas on. We are nice and cozy. I have my new uh, slippers that I've been wearing every single day since I've gotten them. So we are going to get my home clean. We just had some dinner. Kitchen's looking a mess. I know you guys love my after dark clean with me. So I thought I could film one for you guys. Huge thank you to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. We got a new mattress. So I'll be sharing that with you guys very soon. But first, let's tackle the kitchen. All right, guys, we're about to tackle this kitchen. It's not that bad to the eye, but as you get like close up, do you guys see how disgusting this is from cooking? And yeah, and then inside the microwave is just so nasty. So we need to kind of just like tackle some things that I haven't got to in a while. And then the fridge, like, do you guys see what I mean? Like, so I know my kitchen looks clean or looks somewhat clean, but we just kind of need to do a little of the extra things that I haven't got to this week. Our family room's not too bad. Like you can see how the couch, we like live on this couch, you guys. I finished filming my woman's gift guide today. So um, we have stuff everywhere from that. Like you can see, so I need to put all this stuff away. And then I turned the Christmas tree on. Look how pretty it looks. We're still waiting on the rest of the ornament. So it's not done. Um, hopefully I can have it completed in the next week or two. So I'm gonna check um, my tracking number and see where those ornaments are, if they've shipped out yet. But I think it still looks really good. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go tackle this kitchen. You can see I have my lighting out, my tripod from when I filmed that video. But yeah, let's tackle this kitchen. All right, guys, I have my lemon water. I'm like so dehydrated. There's nothing like lemon water, you guys. Mm. All right, we're going to start by putting these dishes away so we can wash the dirty dishes. So let's do that. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Honestly, I'm So the first thing we're going to be doing in the kitchen is getting these dishes put away and then we had some leftovers in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna be getting that in a container, getting that in the fridge, and then we will finally be able to take care of the dirty dishes. I'm lighting a candle, getting my home smelling nice and good. Also putting some chicken in the fridge that I plan to cook tomorrow. I let it thaw out in the sink for like an hour or two, and then I let it finish thawing out in the fridge. I had made some tortellini soup. If you guys have not tried my tortellini soup recipe, I will tag it above. It is such a good recipe. I love it because it makes a ton of leftovers. So we had dinner for tonight and then we'll also have lunch for the next couple of days. And then my Instant Pot was pretty dirty. So I like to take a paper towel and like a butter knife to get really in there. So I just sprayed some multi-surface spray and then just really cleaned the outside and around the rim and also the lid as well. I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your back And washing some dishes, loading the dishwasher up. These little soap pumps that I'm using came from Amazon. I do have them on my Amazon storefront as well as this faucet. I get questions asked about this faucet all the time. That came from Amazon and it is linked on my storefront. So I always have that in the description box for you guys. Now that I have the dishes done, we are ready to get these counters cleared off so we can give them a good wipe down. I also needed to wipe out the inside of the microwave and the stovetop today because it had been a few days since I did that and it really needed it. When 
whenever I'm doing my nighttime cleaning routine, I like to do as much as possible so that way there's not much to do in the morning. I don't always dry the dishes and put them away, but I thank myself when I do it so that way I get a chance to wake up to a nice and clean kitchen. So gotta get better at doing that because it just feels so much better when you wake up and everything is done for you. But I do a lot about 15 minutes in the morning to do a light little tidy. So if there's anything that I didn't get to at night, I will just go ahead and take care of it. Usually it's a load of laundry and just doing a quick little pickup, putting Blissy's toys away because she leaves them all around the house. Usually in my nighttime cleaning routine, I will just stick to one cleaning product. It just makes it really easy that way. So I have my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray out. I do end up getting some glass cleaner and shining up everything. You can see I was getting ready to add the racks back on and then I realized how dirty they were. I was like, I cannot put dirty racks on a clean stove. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of it. I'm using some Dawn dish soap to clean them. It was not planned on my nighttime cleaning routine, but wanted to go ahead and get it done because it's one less thing I have to do tomorrow. And then we will continue to wipe down that stove top. And then I do like to go in with some glass cleaner. It just leaves it with a really good shine. So if you haven't tried that before, use your multi-surface um, spray to clean it and then follow it up with glass cleaner and it gets it so shiny. Microwaves, super simple, especially when you take care of it every couple of days or so, so you don't let it get too bad. So everything just kind of removed. We had tons of crumbs in there, so I just picked them up first, and then I followed it up with some multi-surface spray and my microfiber cloth, and everything got nice and clean. I did wash the tray, and then I just popped it right back in there, so it'll be ready to go. So this is 27. It doesn't matter what I've been through I should go out too But I still act like I'm 11 I'm not emotionally sound since I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy I won't be surprised if I'm the last one now But I had you where I wanted you Never had to ask I'd set the world on fire just to get it back I don't know how it feels to be someone you love and it gets me down so I always like to start by wiping down my fridge down with the multi-surface spray to get it super clean and remove all the grime. And then to get it shriek free and super shiny, I like to follow it up with a glass cleaner. I do prefer to use Windex. I find that the spray works a lot better than the foam, but I didn't have any spray. So I just went ahead and worked with the foam and it did work well, but it didn't work as good as the spray does. So if you have both, definitely use the spray. So this is 27 Start the music, kill the silence Let my mind rest Pour a drink cause it's effective Can't seem to get my head around Why I left you And no, I don't like to be the bad guy You know I don't lie I really miss you now 
had my little mattress sitting out my front door, so we are gonna be bringing it in. I thought we could set it up together. Huge thank you to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. We were in desperate need of a mattress, so I am so excited to be able to have this brand new mattress. We ended up deciding to go with the original Lowell mattress, and we love it, you guys. Love how easy it was to get this premium mattress delivered to our doorstep. It came in this box, you guys, and do you see how it's compressed in there? It was super easy to get it out of the box. I did this all by myself, and it is a king size mattress. The way they compressed it made it super easy to get it on my bed and set up. We have been seriously getting the best sleep with our original Lowell mattress. I love the three layers of premium foam, so no more sinking in our bed. This mattress relieves pressure, so no more morning aches and pains. One of my favorite things about this mattress is that it stays cool. It has a gel top layer and a breathable premium cover that transfers heat away from the body. You can see as I'm cutting away the plastic, the mattress is coming out in full form and really expanding. We ordered a Lowell mattress protector to go on our brand new mattress to keep it nice and clean and protected. And we also have two Lowell pillows as well that we ordered in a king size that you guys will see here in just a second. I love that the Lowell original mattress is the perfect mix of comfort and support. It is so comfortable. I know you guys will love it. Pick up your Lowell mattress today. Lowell is offering a 365 night trial, free shipping, free returns, and a lifetime warranty. If you guys use my link down in the description box, you are able to save $300 off your Lowell mattress. Thank you again to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. Just like a love song, baby, it's haunting me I had just got these sheets out the dryer, so they were nice and warm. They were very wrinkly because whenever I dry my duvet and my sheets together, my sheets always end up in my duvet, so they come out extra wrinkly. So I have to remember to zip that duvet before putting it in the washing machine, but we're gonna set up our new pillows, get all of our bedding on the bed, and getting our room looking nice and good. Loving, loving, loving on me. Loving on me Maybe you won't see me get emotional And sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all But I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body, body, body too Yeah, body too One of my new favorite things to do when making my bed is adding some different textures at the end. So I'm starting with this quilt that I have just folded. It is a king size quilt. I just folded it super small like this and then I put a blanket on top and I love the color and dimension it adds to the bed. It just makes it look so much more professional. It's crazy how two blankets can just change the whole look of the bed. Posing for pictures but nobody listens to anything that you have to say. Can we just leave and walk away, walk away, walk away? Maybe you won't see me get emotional And sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all But I want you to My husband always makes fun of me with how much pillows I add to the bed But it just gives it such a good look do you guys add a ton of pillows on your bed? You'll have to let me know. I saw a meme over on Instagram and it was like, when your pillows take up half your bed, which is kind of what this is doing. Here's some after shots of how the master bedroom turned out. And now we're gonna be headed into the family room. I had filmed a gift guide earlier this day. So we're gonna be starting with getting all of that cleaned up. This 
is the last room we're gonna be taking care of in today's video. This is usually what I'll do in my nighttime cleaning routine. I will pick a few spaces to go ahead and tidy up and clean so that way I don't have to worry about it in the morning. And like I said, anything that I don't get to, I will go ahead and take care of the next day. We definitely had a load of laundry in the dryer, but I just do a little bit each day so that way I'm not overwhelmed with a ton of house chores. So we will take care of that load of laundry in the dryer tomorrow morning. I also wanted to wipe down this coffee table because there was glitter all over it from the ornaments. And then we're also gonna be wiping down the little console and just getting this room back together. Usually I finish my nighttime cleaning routine by vacuuming the floors, mopping them if needed. Today I let the Roomba do the work for me. So we're gonna run this and it does a really good job of cleaning my floors. And then I'll just empty that tank the next morning. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, check out LOL. I will have the link down in my description box and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye.